Detectives already started getting fresh information and in a few minutes we'll give you a number to call with tips. The time gone by 25 years in the first case may actually help homicide detectives. They're hoping people who know something about these murders will be brave enough to come forward now and tell them who the killer is. They all have one thing in common. Young girls walking alone or in pairs along a coastal highway who vanish. But I'm freaked out and bawling like a baby at times. Just thinking about it, I still do. Floyd Essen lost his youngest daughter, Jennifer. Jennifer Essen was just 15 when she disappeared along Highway 101 near Mulac State Beach, north of Newport. They took my little girl from me, and, and uh, to me, that's a, that's, that's, a, that's a wound that will never heal. Essen isn't sure who they is, and neither are detectives from the Oregon State Police Major Crimes Unit and Lincoln County Sheriff's Department. 1443. We went with them looking at a 14-year-old crime scene up an old logging road northeast of Mulak Beach. Where are we at About now? 50 yards. About 50 yards? This is the spur road. It's going to come around and kind of hook in below us. The landing is over there then. Right. Where the body of Jennifer Essen was found two weeks after her disappearance, lying right next to her friend, 16-year-old Kara Lees. Both strangled. They were covered with brush. There, was, there were uh, sticks and branches and things over top of them. Crime scene photos never before seen publicly show one of the first clues, a girl's shoe. So it's going to be right in here. Yep. And aerials of the spot where the girls were killed or later left under all that brush in a new clear cut. So they were found in there, but quite a number of yards in there. But this is all obviously 14 years ago. Now Lincoln County District Attorney Rob Bovet is taking a fresh look at the double murder along with three other homicides, which all could be linked by a common killer or killers. That's why I had all five homicides reopened at the same time because of the potential for a connection. Three years before the Essen Lee's murders in May 1992, two other girls vanished. Also along Highway 101 north of Newport. The girls were last seen making a call from this phone booth while their families camped at Beverly Beach State Park. Hunters found the bodies of 17-year-old Melissa Sanders and 19-year-old Sheila Swanson off of Highway 20 four months later in October 1992. It was just a few miles from where another girl disappeared eight years earlier. 17-year-old Kelly Disney, last seen walking east along Highway 20 at one in the morning in March 1984. Her mother talked to K2 in 1994 10 years after her disappearance. You can't describe it, and especially not knowing. And just days after our story aired, someone found Kelly Disney's skull near this reservoir north of Newport. 10 years after she disappeared, the first clue for investigators and her family, after a decade. Now I know and now I can get on with our lives. This team of murder detectives hopes the killer or killers or someone who knows who they are will finally step forward and give all of the family some answers. I'm hopeful that time will actually be our friend in this case, um, that relationships have changed, that um, people have grown older. For many of folks around here though, however, it's still pretty fresh and it can be pretty painful. Another murder farther north has us asking questions about police reports hidden until now. Reports made available only to K2, which may hold the key to solving at least one of these murders. That part of our story tomorrow morning at 6. On your side investigator, Tom Jensen, K2 News.